Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today, I'm gonna tell you about the software that Fuji just released in comparison with what Canon released a couple weeks ago. My name is Ameka, and today we're gonna give you some streaming tips or even video conferencing tips, not just streaming tips. Well, Canon released their uh, software, the Canon webcam software a couple weeks ago. I don't have a Canon, so I can't even show you what it looks like or what it does, but in a nutshell, it's something that you can just plug your camera to your computer and you can just use it as a video conferencing software or, you know, like a webcam pretty much. And, you know, it negates the, you buying the webcam and you buying the webcam, it has a cheap quality, but the camera always has a better quality than the webcam. So it has advised if you can use the webcam. Well, recently, what we have been using in the gaming community and you know is the elgato camling 4k and right now that is sold out everywhere you can't even find this anywhere the ones that you find people are price gouging it i mean you see them for like four hundred dollars five hundred dollars this thing is worth maybe a hundred and twenty dollars but people are price gouging it and you can see it as low as $350 like I looked on Amazon and I saw it's about $330 on eBay people were bidding and it was already it's like a couple days left and it was already on like 250 so no but now Fuji just released their own version what this week sometime this week they released their own version of the of their webcam software called Fujifilm X webcam and this allows you to just plug a USB-C cable to your camera, plug the A port to your computer, and boom, you have instant webcam quality, webcam quality video, or should I say camera quality video using your already owned camera. But anyways, let's get to it. First thing you wanna do is you want to go to the Fujifilm website. Let's go to the Fujifilm website. Uh, there, there you go Fujifilm website we're gonna go to the home page and now it's easy to navigate you just go to support download firmware go to software come on uh, boom there you go and you can see it right here Fuji X webcam and it was last updated on the 27th so click on that and by the way, this is only for the PC. There's only for the PC version. I'm gonna walk you through. Easy, easy download. Go ahead, click on the button on the below. There, let me go back so you can see where. Right here, for only Windows, you click agree and you click download. Once you have it downloaded on your computer, it's easy. Go ahead and open the software click on it click on the win software click next agree to the license agreement click next next yes agree to everything installation close the installation so you click on the setup tab and once you walk it will walk you easy just you know going through these steps is the easy just click 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 step and once you get to the last window page It'll ask you to reset your uh, your system. Go ahead and click yes and reset your computer. Once that being said, now we go to the camera. We have to make some changes in the camera. First change you have to make on the camera is, you know, you have to put the camera on still, on still photography, like, like you're shooting still. For the X-T3 that I have, I just put it on the S. If you have a Fuji X-T4, just go ahead and switch your video from video to still mode and that's it for that part. Uh, secondly, you go to the drive mode in front of the camera and you select X, S, single frame. You can also select manual or continuous, but I recommend single frame like Fuji says. Now you have to go to the USB uh, connection and you have to change the PC connection mode to USB tether shooting. So it, sh it should read USB card reader right now because you know it's saving to your card, but once you get there you go to the second tab and it should be usb tether sh shooting auto all right 
and some other changes you can make is going to the AF MF setting and you set pre autofocus set that to on face and eye detection set that to on and go to your power supply setting go ahead and turn off your power like turn off your power supply setting so your camera don't turn off in two minutes or three minutes let it run continue so there's no you know and another thing i have to advise you if you have a a way to power your camera continuous i use a battery grip with a battery grip uh, charge cable that came with it and i can charge it continuously and it just goes on and on it doesn't uh stop as long as i have power on so but those are the pretty much the small settings you have to make to get this started but once once that done then we're gonna plug in the camera and we're gonna start you know plugging the camera to the computer using the USB-C cable I recommend using like a, a nice high quality USB-C cable or you're gonna get like you know problems with your 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 system is gonna just shut off and just shut back on it's not gonna be reading properly all right so once that's said um I'll show you some softwares that I've set up I've set up and they work well with this so let's try the first software Microsoft Teams so go up here to settings uh, we'll go to settings right here we'll go to devices right there right here you go here you select which cam you want you have three of them XPV cam Fujifilm game capture hey yes so I want to select this one and let's see if it works for this one okay boom here we go we have video quality on this so it works for microsoft teams if you can see i have nice video quality you can see me hi but and there's no lag as you can see there's no lag there's little to no lag i mean this is amazing like not even laggy at all so nice quality you know instead of using a webcam you can use this all right let's go check another software as we've seen it works on microsoft teams so that's good let's go check another software let's check discord so discord go to settings uh go to video and we're gonna go to here we select fuji webcam test video let's see boom it works on discord as well so you know now let's go check uh, uh like the obs software like let's check uh streamlabs obs and i don't think it works on this one i've seen some people say it doesn't work on this so let's see let's close this out let's go we have to select the source add source we're gonna add uh video capture device add source and video capture add source and right where right where here we go double click it we select fuji x webcam and done nope nothing see nothing it does not read it so it's supposed to have the video come up here once you select it but nothing is coming up so you know it doesn't really work so that's a bummer uh this does not work with the obs system it doesn't work with obs studio as well so you know let's try zoom again something was wrong with zoom it was just working a minute ago let's see switch it off and switch it on there we go there we go it just came up so works with zoom let's go okay go back to it there we go works with zoom as you can see we tried it before we know it doesn't work with two of them obs studio and streamlabs obs but it works with microsoft teams uh what's it called zoom and it also works with uh discord so let's turn that off 
so that's the video so i mean you can see uh instead of using the cam link you can use this for your video conference call it but for me i'm still gonna keep using my cam link because i like you know that it works with all the platforms like it doesn't matter which one it is it just works with it and the other another disadvantage for using the cam link is when you use the cam link on the fuji you're stuck to using that dreaded micro hdmi port which is like the most amazing i mean the most crappy hdmi port ever so you have to be really really it's really really like finicky it's like really really like you know if you make a mistake and jam your you know mini hd micro hdmi in there it's just the port is just gonna break and fall inside and you gotta send it over and it costs about 300 dollars to fix you don't want to go through that but yeah so anyways um thank you for watching the video um if you have any questions on this let me know i'm gonna still be testing it out i know there's still this is just a release and they'll have a couple of bugs in it but they should refine it soon uh, let me know if you have any questions on the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.